Tor, this new giant laser cannon will help me conquer Primus and rule the galaxy. Tor, we're picking up the Eternia on radar. Good. Just in time for a test of the laser cannon. Shot? That's one big laser cannon. <laughs> the bigger they are, the harder they fall. The harder who falls? That laser cannon nearly got us, and it's gonna try again. It's pointed straight at us. What do we do now? Activate the grappler beams while I lock onto an asteroid chunk. Got it! Now the wind up and the pitch! Don't you worry. Uncle Skeletor will buy you a new one. Hmm. What do we have here? The green gas from the explosion is somehow interfering with Primus's shield. And where the lightning flashes, the shield gets weaker. Flog, I want... Uh, I mean, we uh, might want an analysis of that gas cloud. If we can create enough of that gas, we can destroy the shield around Primus forever! Well done, gentlemen! Well done! Ah, just doing our duty. What's wrong, Master Sebrian? The laser cannon was destroyed. That cloud has damaged the shield. It could be disastrous for Primus unless we figure out why and how to prevent further damage. No doubt it's negative ions are interfering with the shield's cosmoseptic viscosity. Uh, more likely, it's a breakdown of the electrochemical conductivity. Cosmoseptic viscosity. Electrochemical conductivity. Cosmoseptic viscosity. Electrochemical conductivity. Gentlemen, please. Every moment is precious. We need an answer, and quickly. Flog, a few changes to the laser cannon design, and we have a floating factory. One that can produce the destructive gas faster than the poor Primans can dispel it. <laughs> Flog, have your mutants ready to invade Primus. Invade? Now that's a word I can understand. Slush it, front and center. I want you to go down to Primus and prepare the way for our attack. Our instruments have detected a large floating factory manufacturing that green gas. It must be destroyed before it reaches the shield. The shield is weakening in quadrant R-5. That's right over the oasis. Orange alert! A mutant fighter is approaching the shield over quadrant R-5. Flipshot, you and the Galactic Guardians must destroy that factory. He-Man will take care of the fighter. I'm on my way. By the power of Eternia?
chaos, oh, destruction. <laughs> Don't you just love it, girl? Slushhead, I need an update. Have you landed? Right, Skeletor, no sign of resistance. <laughs> this is gonna be easy. I like your attitude. A flock will send in the rest of the armada as soon as the shield is completely down, and I'll be there soon. But first, there's someone I want to find and personally destroy. <laughs> Problem. That mutant fighter is close by. Yeah, and so am I. Attacking from behind, a eh, slushhead. Sure, I'm a mutant, ain't I? The mutants have landed, Drissy. We've got to tell He-Man. First, we must shelter the animals from the storm. <laughs> Wait, come back. Don't be frightened. Stronger than I thought. <sighs> Skeletor's gonna name me most valuable mutant when he finds out I beat him. Say goodbye, he wins. What a lousy time for a call. Slushhead, I need you on the mothership. But, 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 but. No buts, now! You and me still got an axe to grind, so don't go nowhere. Severely damaged, Flipshot. You must destroy the source of this green cloud. Quickly! We're trying, Master Sebrian! will harm you. Uh, what was that? Uh, Let's find out. It's Adam. He's hurt. We've got to take him someplace safe. The, the cliff, cliff ruins. ruins. We'll take care of you. I, I... I... Don't talk. Just rest. We can use this giant Garuna leaf as a sled. of you to show up. Now, let's do a little serious invading, shall we? I'd rather go back and finish off He-Man. Did you say He-Man? Yeah, I knocked him silly. But then you called and I had to leave him. 
He-Man, injured at the mercy of his enemies? I must pay the poor lad a visit. Oh, what about the invasion? He-Man first, invasion second. <laughs> We must stay here until Adam is well enough to walk. Drizzy, Kaz, where are we? We're in a hiding place near the oasis, Adam. Why do you have He-Man's sword? I wish I could tell you, Drizzy, but I can't. I, I wish I knew what happened. I don't see He-Man anywhere. Are you sure this was the place? Uh-huh. Unless my compass isn't working. It's your brain that isn't working. I see I'll have to give the assignment to someone with superior intelligence. That's the spirit, girl. Find He-Man. Gurr can track anyone. And when he finds He-Man, the homing signal on his collar will lead me straight to him. Aren't pets wonderful? <laughs> now, if I could just train him to fetch my slippers without eating them. He-Man, this is Sebrian. Come in. Master Sebrian, something awful has happened. Kaz and, and Drissy, I can't trans... I'll be there as soon as I can. It's Gurr. Stop. Good boy. You don't want to hurt us. We're your friends. See, Adam? We'll be okay. Yes, we'll be fine if Flipshot and Spinwit find the source of that green fog, and if Skeletor hasn't already attacked, and if there's a miracle. Do not lose faith, Adam. Much of history has been shaped by miracles. Master Sebrian, but you found us so quickly. See? Our first miracle. We must hurry. Skeletor is on his way even as we speak, thanks to Gurr. I saw it, but I didn't know what it was. It's all right, though. I have a plan to undo the damage. Time is of the essence, Adam. The shield is weakening. We must find He-Man. I'll come with you and carry his sword. I think you'd better stay and look after Drissy. She really could use your protection. Oh, uh, right. My protection. Don't worry. I'll look after you. Desert. Yuck! Give me a good swamp any day. Listen, Gurr has picked up He-Man's trail. Ooh, I can barely contain my excitement. <laughs> By the power of Eternia, I have the power! Master Sebrian, what if I'm never able to transform back into He-Man? Some special ingredient is missing. And if we don't discover it soon, all of Primus will be lost. I, I remember now. It, it happened so quickly. A burst of lightning. It must have been the gas and the lightning converging simultaneously. You'll need a powerful convergence of energies to restore your ability to transform. The lightning and electromagnetic stimulus, that's it! I hear Gurr's tracking collar. He's located He-Man. See, Slushhead? Even a mutt can be a mutant's best friend. Sure has changed. 
You idiot! That's not Gurr! We've been tricked! It worked, Drissy! Gurr's collar fooled him! Back, you hairy hybrid! Back! The summit of this mountain just might do it. Adam, use your sword as a lightning rod. The power of the good? Now, concentrate, feel the magic. The way of the magic? By the power of Eternia? Heads up, Spinwit. We're approaching the primary target. I've got news for you. We are the primary target! Use evasive maneuvers. Our orders are to blast that fog factory at all costs. Locked on target. Fire neutron beam. Now! Stop sniveling, Flog. It doesn't become a ruthless tyrant like yourself. Yeah, I suppose you're right. As for me, I'm continuing my search for He-Man. Ta-ta! So, there you are, you traitorous little monster. That does it. As soon as we get back to Nordor, I'm sending you to the Quagmi Swamp. You do, and you'll have to deal with me. And me. And me. He-Man, how I've waited for this day. Don't just stand there, you mutant muttonhead. Start firing. Gurr, don't let them harm He-Man. Hey, let go, you stupid mutt. I see I'll have to take care of you myself. See? That wasn't so hard. You're right, Skeletor. It wasn't nearly hard enough. <laughs> Stop! Let go! I am your master! <laughs> the fog is gone and the shield has once again been restored. Primus is saved. Thanks to you, Flipshot and Spinwit. Not to mention Drissy. Hey, haven't you forgotten about Kaz? Oh, believe me, we can never forget about Kaz. <laughs> 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 There's something great about working with your hands. But getting in there, finding the problem, fixing it yourself. The biggest problem is how you're going to get clean after you're through. Oh, getting dirty's half the fun. But starting a fire is no fun at all. These oily rags are a fire hazard. Working with paint or oil means you have to be careful. Always store dirty rags in a safe place.